Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we are going to play the Europa League semi-final both legs against Frankfurt. So we've sort of got a little bit of an easier draw in terms of how everything is shaken up. We'll take a look at the other semi-final in just a sec but one last thing, one little administrative thing. We have got a new microphone so if you would just tell me how it's sounding in the comments down below is it has it been any different to what you were used to in my previous videos and um, i will still be messing about and tinkering with the settings and stuff to find the right sort of levels but for now i'm quite happy with my purchase based on my initial testing let's get into the video so there's only been a few games since the quarterfinal against Braga in the Europa League. The first of which was an FA Cup semi-final which we absolutely dominated and got us into the final. Esposito getting two, Erling Haaland, Luca Pellegrini and Mariba with one. Uh, Bernard with the goal for Everton making it 5-1 and into the final. We then faced Everton again back-to-back -back games. This time it was a 4-2 away victory. Haaland, Pierre, Pellegrini and Marcus Antonio with the goals for us. Sigurdsson and Carol Linetti with the goals later on for Everton. And finally was a disappointing 1-0 away defeat against West Ham United. Pablo Fornals got the goal in the 50th minute for them and that gave them the victory. And this is how the league table stands as things are we are now out of the top four but we do have a game in hand against Chelsea who have pinched that fourth place spot from us it is going to be a straight shooting tie between us and Chelsea as to who gets the Champions League I'd be highly surprised if Manchester United managed to get themselves into it and Arsenal are unlikely to drop that many points between now and then to fall out of it but the Premier League is not the focus for today's episode it is the Europa League we are looking to get European honours for the very first time as you can see uh, Sheffield United Frankfurt in the first leg of our semi-final we are at home in that first leg the other semi-final is Manchester City and Benfica we are all praying and hoping that Benfica can do us a little bit of a solid and get Man City out of this tournament they should be in the Champions League so without further ado let's get to today's match and see who we will be playing against um, Eintracht Frankfurt in the first leg of this semi-final unfortunately for us Dodo is suspended as is Mareba so we're without two of our better players for the first leg but we seem to have quite a competent first 11 maybe aside of George Baldock I mean I'll never speak ill of George Baldock he's done some incredible stuff for us over the years but he is starting to show his lack of quality particularly with the quality that's came into the squad but we'll see what these boys can do at home. Jack Butland in goal. Bella Kochap on Jean and Tilo Kerra in the centre half roles. George Baldock and Luca Pellegrini as our wing backs. Renato Sanchez and Danny Olmo in the centre with Jean Pierre in behind our useful Erling Haaland and Esposito. Let's see how Frankfurt uh, set up and if we recognise any of their players. Zinchenko straight away stands out to me, former Man City man. Now at Frankfurt on this game, Kevin Trapp. Uh, Vargas I recognise a little bit not not too much the same Gibril Sows are obviously a fantastic central midfielder on uh, football manager 20 if you ever get the opportunity to sign him I have looked at him quite a few times um, with Sheffield United Sven Bender as well coming in at centre back 34 years old now on this game absolutely crazy but anyway I think we've definitely got the better first 11 let's see how they perform first highlight of the game 20 seconds in and Esposito Nods on for Onjin at that back post, but unfortunately we can't get the opening goal. That would have been absolutely ideal, scoring straight from kickoff, but it wasn't a B. Let's see how we get on the rest of this first half. This time it's Bella Kochap with a throw in deep in our own half. Harland with an absolutely beautiful through ball down the wing for George Baldock, who managed to get past his man and whip the cross in. It is a poor cross though, and Selk can come away with it for Frankfurt. There's a massive gap between our midfield and our defence, which he was able to exploit and bring Frankfurt way up the pitch but they are dilly dallying in possession and Danny Olmo can come and pinch in he drives forward finds Esposito he's in the box oh that is a terrible terrible finish he scuffs his foot and unfortunately can't get it on target I mean it's not a bad first off uh, first 15 minutes or so from us but we are looking to hopefully maybe go with a one or two goal lead going in the second leg away from home Um, obviously things being a lot more difficult if you don't manage to take an advantage with you as Danny Olmo whips in a free kick back post Bella Kochap hits the bar the keeper doesn't get anywhere near it but unfortunately we can't follow it up 
I'm 35 minutes in now, fast approaching half time. It looks like it's going to be Sheffield United nil, Frankfurt nil. And there we have it. Disappointing Manchester City winning 3 0 in the first half, if you just spotted that against Benfica. So I don't think we're going to get any miracles. And if we are to get through this leg, it's highly likely that we will be facing Manchester City in the final of the Europa League. But we need to beat Frankfurt to get there. Danny Olmo with the ball in. Esposito from a corner gets his head in for his 21st goal of the season. Put us 1 0 up inside 50 minutes. This is what we needed to see to just boost our spirits. And Danny Olmo does the business. Esposito rising higher over the defender. And Kevin Trapp can do nothing about that 1 0. With only 20 minutes to go, we'll look to make some subs. George Baldock and Pellegrini both look and tired. I'll get Ender Stevens on for Pellegrini. In terms of the players who are not playing particularly well, Jean Pierre hits the list straight away, but we don't really have. Our, our bench is pretty poor. So I'm going to bring on Marcus Antonio for Renato Sanchez, who has a yellow card. Um, that is a, pretty much like a side grid sub. It's not, um, we're not actually downgrading our first 11 by doing that. And I think I'll save my last sub just in case anything crazy happens in the last 10. But uh, I would like I would like us to get another goal, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen with five minutes remaining. Time is just ticking away. Frankfurt, I think, are quite or they've gone very attacking actually. Um, so they actually went for this the uh, the last ten minutes. I probably should have went counter to maybe have created or forged a few more chances based on that. But we go into the second leg with a one nil, which isn't too shabby as long we've got the lead. We can defend that away from home. No bother if old boys perform to the best of their ability. As you can see, Manchester City ended up winning 3-0. Uh, Benfica going down to 10 men in the 83rd minute. So, unless there's minor miracles, Man City are through. Now it's between us and Frankfurt. I'll see you at the second leg. So, we're back for the second leg. We have played Brentford in between in the Premier League and won 3-0. Did take the last three goals in the last 15 minutes to us to actually get the win in today's game. Daniel Moore opened the score in the 76th minute. Willem and Esposito completed the score and after Willem came on for Erling Haaland in the second half. And as you can see, we still remain in fifth. Still two points behind Chelsea, but still with that game in hand. I will be highly disappointed if we miss out on Champions League football this year. We've been in the top four pretty much the entirety of this season. So, yeah, it would be a disappointing way to finish this season if we weren't to get top four. But one way to get Champions League football is to win the Europa League. So, let's go and try and do that instead. Uh, so, for today's game, we will be starting pretty much exactly the same um, as we did in the first leg. Apart from, Mariba comes in in that central midfield role to replace Renato Sanchez, who is currently injured. Let's get into the game. And it looks like Frankfurt are coming with pretty much the same starting lineup as well. Got Kramerich up top this time, which I don't think I spotted in the first leg. So, maybe he was injured or suspended. Um, but some of our boys have returned. So, let's kick off. So looking at Frankfurt's formation, they are playing attacking. So they are coming at us in today's game, which they obviously need to do being 1-0 down after the first leg. It'll be interesting to see how they change things up if they do equalise, which could happen here as Zinchenko drives forward, finds Salk in behind the defence, one-on-one with the keeper. But Tilo Kerra gets back and makes an absolutely crucial interception to keep us 1-0 in front on aggregate. Another highlight now, 10 minutes in, Sven Bender with a long ball over the top for Frankfurt. Easily cut out by our defenders. And Jack, oh, Jack, Jack, sort yourself out, mate. <laughs> this is a semi-final of a European competition and you just very nearly cost us a goal straight away. It's still not over as Kramerich finds Pedraza on the edge. Back to Kramerich on the edge of the box. We are closing them down quite nicely and can hopefully we can. But Jack, sort yourself out, mate. Another highlight now, it's all Frankfurt at the minute. I am going to have to come off this attack and mentality as soon as this. I'm going to go to a balance. I'm not going to go to a counter just yet. Although they are attacking, then counter might be the best option for me. Um, I don't want to give them too much possession and too much impetus driving forward. At least with the balanced team mentality, we are balanced. We are go, uh, being solid defensively and still giving ourselves options in attack. But as I say, that Frankfurt again coming forward with the two raid this time down that right-hand side. Selks from post. Oh, Kramerich has ended up nodding it in for his 11th goal of the season. Um, not great. Not great. Maybe I should have stayed attacking and just kept the pressure up or moved to a more counter-attacking style. But you cannot help it now in hindsight. Selk with the ball back post. Kramerich. I don't even know what Belakotchap was doing there. He's running away completely from the ball. But nevertheless... 
Frankfurt are staying attacking as things stand at the minute. So we are going to match them. We are going to go attacking for attacking. I trust in our players to... They're, they're better than their players. They just are in raw attribute form. Um, so we'll see if we can make that to pay dividends. As George Baldock gets in behind, Pedraza takes him down. That is a penalty. Do not go to VAR. It is a penalty. Thank God for that. Erling Haaland steps up to try and level the tie in the second leg. And he does so. Nice, coolly, calmly. 19th goal of the season. We are back in front 2-1. We've got that crucial away goal now. So Frankfurt do need two goals to end up seeing themselves in front in this tie. And Erling Haaland does the business for us. 2-1. Another highlight now, Haaland picks up the ball from a throw it on the right hand side, Mariba plays it almost, switches the player beautifully to George Baldock and now we are Pellegrini, could have put us 2-1 up in front on the night there, decent bit of play from us, we're keeping possession a lot better ever since we went back to the attacking style, as Danny Olmo whips in the ball again, Haaland tries to get there first, it ends up back to Olmo though, all the way to Bella, caught up and nil that, <laughs> that would have been a goal and a half from our centre half, but it wasn't a B. Uh, we can go in at half time at 1 1, pretty content with our performance so far. Frankfurt still dominating the match stats after that initial 20 minutes or so at the beginning of the game, but I think we've definitely come into it a lot more since they have went 1 0 up. As Luca Pellegrini starts us off with the first highlight of the second half, the ball's whipped in, falls to Jean Pierre, who heads it out of the wide. I don't know why he done that. We were in a very, very good position, and now Frankfurt can potentially counter, or we going to pinch the ball back. It looks like we are. As Pellegrini drives through the middle, switches the... I mean, Pedraza does us a favour there and gives the ball back to Baldock. Pellegrini's back post, he's got to. He had all the time in the world. All the time in the world to get that on target, but he doesn't manage to do it. Half an hour to go, it's a corner for Frankfurt. The ball's played in, Bella Kotchap gets rid and Danny Olmo, what a ball that is, sends it where Erling Haaland in behind. Good save by Trapp to keep Frankfurt in it. We'll stick with this, we'll stick with the corner because we did score from one last time, so you never know. Maybe, maybe not. Erling Haaland, win a penalty? Nah, it's, it's, it's going to lead to nothing. Danny Olmo with a free kick. Onjin gets his head on it and goes over. It's all us in this second half. Pellegrini, oh, we really are creating a lot of opportunities. Now, I don't like it when you create a lot of opportunities and don't score because football manager has a cruel way of um, ruining your fun times when that happens, as might happen here after that couple of substitutions. Thankfully, it looks like it's going to be us with a counter-attack as Esposito brings the ball forward, finds Erling Haaland over the top. It's gone a bit wide. He's got a lot of work to do here. Plays a back to Baldock. Ender Stevens. I mean, the wing-backs. It's Luca Pellegrini at first. Couldn't score. And now it's Ender Stevens now. Missing a lot. I'm interested to see how many key chances we've actually created in this match. Toure now. He caused us problems in the first half and it looks like he's come on back into it in this second half. Toure plays in. We managed to get a clear and Mariba can drive, oh he's driving forward brilliantly, finds Erling Haaland after pulling out the defenders and again another, probably another clear cut opportunity there goes begging from us as Marcus Antonio steps up to take the corner, it's cleared by Frankfurt. But yeah the substitutions I did take off Ender Stevens, uh, bring on Ender Stevens for Luca Pellegrini and Marcus Antonio for Danny Olmo as we look to press forward for another goal, Onjin after a corner picks it up back to Bella Kochap. He plays the ball in with his weak foot. It's clear by Frankfurt. You don't want your centre-halves to be the ones playing the balls in from 30 yards, do you, really? But thankfully, oh, their defenders were messing it about. Esposito just hits and hopes there, I think. Strikes it as hard as he possibly can, but Kevin Trapp is equal to the challenge. As this highlight is continuing, which I don't like. I really don't like Kramerich coming down that left-hand side. Finding two rear. <sighs> Who finds the goal? Well, we knew this was happening, didn't we, really? Ever since we created at least 10 clear court opportunities, not 10, you know, maybe five, and didn't take any of them, we were always looking at them scoring a goal. We're going to take off Erling Haaland, who has had a good game, and bring on Willem in his place for the final few minutes. Hopefully, our boys can just hold out. They've gone very attacking, which I, I don't know about you, but in FM20, very attacking just means finish the game. It never really changes anything, and there we are. Frankfurt 2, Sheffield United 1 on the night, 2-2 two, two on aggregate. We go through on away goals. We are now into the Europa League final as well as the FA Cup final. I think we can confidently say that that has been a very thoroughly successful season, regardless of the outcomes of any of them finals or the end of the season domestically. I think we can be pleased. Two, two finals in two major competitions is great. 
As we can see, it will be Manchester City we face. They had to have extra time to get through, though. Vinicius Junior scoring it in the 106th minute to get them through. Um, but Manchester City will be the opponents. When is this happening? It is happening just before the FA Cup final. So how about next episode is a Europa League final and an FA Cup final to round out this season before the summer transfer window. I think that sounds just about right. Well, listen, please leave your comments down below how you think the sound quality is with this new microphone. Has it made much of a difference? Do you even, would if I didn't tell you, would you have even noticed it? I'll, I'll let you tell me. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.